Hey, it's another amazing day in Denver. Today we are going to show you all around the master plan community of Sterling Ranch. You're not going to want to miss it, so let's get to it. Hi, I'm Michelle Wise. And I'm Cheryl Crown. And we are Living, Living in, in Denver, Denver Colorado. Colorado. If you're looking to make the move to Denver, or maybe you currently live in Denver and you're looking to move within the big city of Denver, then you've come to the right place. Because we live here, we can give you the inside scoop on everything Denver. So please be sure to tap the bell below and subscribe so you'll be the first one to know the next time we drop a new video. Yes, and while we do love making these videos, we are realtors here in the state of Colorado. So we make these videos just to inform you and give you information about what it's like to actually live here. So send us an email, choose a text or give us a call. All of our information's down below so that we can help you out if you're ready to make the move already or you just want more information. We get calls and emails every single day and Michelle and I personally respond to each and every one. So regardless of your time frame, we've totally got you covered. So with that, let's get to it. Okay, so today we are in an amazing master plan community in Littleton, Colorado called Sterling Ranch. Wait till you see this, you're gonna love it. It's got anything and everything you could ever want in a neighborhood and it is specifically set up to meet the needs of the people that live here. So when we say a master plan, it means that basically it's been developed in its entirety. So when some neighborhoods are built, you know, they take a small section build and it grows and grows and grows. This, this thing is planned out on paper 100% with homes, home builders, commercial, retail shops, anything and everything you could imagine even prior to them breaking ground. This neighborhood has amazing proximity to, while it sits off on itself a little bit, it's really not isolated at all. No, it's not. We're about four miles south of 470 and one mile west of Santa Fe. So if you take a look at a map, which we'll show here now, um, you can see that it's really nicely located. Great access to Chatfield Reservoir. I think there are two state parks, Roxborough and Chatfield. Oh, oh, that's state, okay. And then there's three regional parks that are super close as well. Although there isn't a lot of retail opportunity here, they do have a brewery they have a coffee shop, they have a couple medical facilities, an ophthalmologist, physical therapy, daycare, daycare, UC Health. But if you want to shop, you really have to drive two and a half miles to King Supers. But if you really want to go shopping, shopping, Aspen Grove is super close. You can just head right up Santa Fe and little downtown Littleton is, is very good proximity. And, and, um, and we're kind of sandwiched in between downtown Littleton, Highlands Ranch, and then Castle Rock. So you can also take Castle Rock south or take Santa Fe South to get to Castle Rock, and there they have the Outlet Small, they have a Sam's Club, they have Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and any and every restaurant you could possibly imagine. La Loma, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> um, grocery stores, so, you know, the idea with some of these master plans is to kind of get you here, give you some of the amenities that you want from a necessity standpoint, and then also allow you to be able to branch out and, and go further if you want to, you know, get something outside of your community. Yeah, and if you want to drive to the mountains, we're probably about 15 minutes that to get yeah. to 70 and head, head right on into the mountains, about 35 minutes to DIA and 35 minutes to downtown Denver. Yeah, downtown's pretty much a straight shot, mm -hmm. straight down Santa Fe, mm -hmm. so that's easy access too. Probably better than some of our neighborhoods here in the South Metro Denver, uh, as far as access goes to get to, to mm -hmm. downtown Denver. So let's talk amenities. Yeah. This place is crazy with their amenities. The thing I thought was really cool is the technology available here, the fiber optic, uh, high-speed internet, yeah, one, yeah. one gig. Yeah, so every house here comes with a smart home plan mm -hmm. uh, and smart home equipment. Mm -hmm. So that's something that's really unique and we haven't seen in many communities here in Denver. It's definitely a sign that these builders and these developers are really trying to be with the times and offer that to their residents mm -hmm. as, a, as a benefit. And it's a huge benefit. Think about how many people work from home. Exactly. And surf, you know, and streaming. Right, and, right. And all of that. And if you have many people in your household, you need that that much that's availability. One, it's one gig, right? One gig here. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really cool. The other thing I think is great, they have an almost 5,000 square foot rec center. It's got a grand hall, a pool. Workout and, facility. Yeah, workout facility, pavilion, so you can rent it out for graduation parties or picnics. Picnic we're, we're actually sitting in one of the little picnic cabanas here, not yes. at the rec center, but they have these little pocket parks mm -hmm. throughout the neighborhood as well. And that's what we're in here today. But this is a beautiful little place. You could come have a little kid's birthday party or just a nice lunch with the family. It's endless. Yep, yep, absolutely. Yeah, again, we talked about the, the 
the shops they have, the little coffee shop and the brewery. We've actually been to the brewery at a different location and it, it's a fun little vibe they've got going on there. Definitely. They also do a lot of community activities here. So with the, the rec center and with just their, their community, they do movies in the park, they do holiday gatherings, just different neighborhood. They do community garage sale. They, they really, again, try to give back to their residents here. And then as far as builders go, there are seven builders who are currently building in Sterling Ranch. And we'll give you some video footage of the different, you know, type properties that you can get here. These properties run anywhere from about 500,000 up to millions. So there's a lot of variety and there's also a lot of variety with the way these builders come in and design their houses. So you can find a house that looks like a traditional front farmhouse, uh, but then they also have ultra contemporary, mm -hmm. modern looking. Mm -hmm. They have paired homes, they have single family homes. These developers have really tried to hit everybody's needs and make this a community that has a lot of different offerings depending on what you want. This neighborhood has seven builders and with that they have over 70 different home styles of choice. So floor plans basically is what that means. Mm -hmm. Again, anywhere from two bedrooms, up to, you know, if you build out a basement, it could be six or seven bedrooms. Well, and upon completion, there's gonna be over 12,000 houses in this neighborhood. So it's, it's still got a long way to go, but it's uh, it's fairly established. Yeah, yeah. And the schools, it is Douglas County School District. So you're gonna have high performing schools that Douglas County offers, as well as I think there's talk of some charter schools going in this area also. A lot of different options for you as far as if you have kids or for resale value. Uh, they, they do have that piece covered. The plan for Douglas County is to add a school specifically for Sterling Ranch, so look for that in the future. Yeah. When you have 12,000 households, you're <laughs> yes. going to need a school of your own. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, and then, you know, again, kind of back to those amenities, they have over 30 miles of trail within this community, which is, you know, is nice. And, and these trails kind of all accumulate down here in this central park here where we are that has all the, you know, the health center, the coffee shop, the brewery, the daycare. It's kind of all pocketed here at the entrance of it. Yep. And open space, tons of open space. Yeah, it's about 1,300 acres of open space built to, into this community. So again, these little pocket parks, the regional park, you're here amongst a lot of houses, especially when it's 12,000 houses, but I don't think it's gonna feel like you're in a neighborhood of 12,000. It's gonna have that space and, and make it feel like home. Yep, absolutely. So thank you so much for joining us on this video tour of Sterling Ranch in Littleton. We hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, subscribe and tap the bell below for notifications. And if you have any comments or any suggestions for us, we would love to hear them. Yes, most definitely. So your feedback, we do these for you guys. So give us feedback, let us know what you wanna see, what you'd like, and yeah, we'll see you next time. And if you need more information, you know how to reach yeah, us, please call us or yeah. shoot us a text or send us an email and we'll, we'll return your call. See ya. Bye.